Get to a check. Get to a check, yeah. Yeah. Get to a check, yeah. Yeah. Get to a check, huh? Ha. Ha. New York City Trust the area. What up? It's DJ Hanks. My co worker got me here on the low, so. But it's so good. Because now we just call it the uh, industry talk. Hex and friends in the building. Friends in the building. Friends in the building. Like, going quiet. Sounds like I'm in here by myself. Right up. Yo, Al, what's, up? what's going on, Al? Chilling, man. Chilling. That's what's good. That's what's good. That's what's good. Yeah, man. It's crazy, man. Things been crazy. Good, good crazy. You know, just getting everything together, getting the label together. If y'all out there, make sure y'all holler, y'all holler, 347 708 0216. Holla at your boy. I don't want to be out here in the universe all by myself. You want to I know I got different personalities, but you don't. Know, right here. Right now. But in the building, you know what I'm saying? My man came through. My man Zell Omar in the building, in the building, in the building. What up, Zell? That's what's up, that's what's up. Yeah, you know, had to have my man come through, you know what I'm saying, yo, phenomenal artist. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not even gonna run my mouth. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you do the talk yourself. So, you know what I'm saying, for the audience, let the people know who you are, what you do, and why you came to bless and just you talk. Alright, well, I go by Zell Omar, the rapper, producer, studio singer, game jack and singer, um, engineer, director, photographer, everything, entrepreneur. I own the domination and I'm here. Mm-hmm. That seems like to me how that's Yeah, definitely, mm-hmm. definitely. Man. Yo, so so let, 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 let's let's get let, let's get into it. Mm-hmm. Um right now with all the craziness, you know, but like one of the things that I had addressed at, you know, actually, you know, say shout out to SOBs. I had addressed this issue at SOBs about this ongoing, I guess you want to call it rap beef. That people have with each other, this online rap beef, everybody going back and forth. I mean, like, give me your, you know, say, give me your, your, your insight on it. What, how do you feel about it? Well, rap beef with who? Well, it's different people. You got six nine, which is trying to start beef with everybody, but then he wants to be friends and collabo. I don't know what the problem is. I'm trying to figure out. You know, like I said, no disrespect, but I call what it is what it is. I don't know if you. Straight gangster or Rainbow Bright or what it is is it cartoon. I don't know what it is. You know, I'm still trying to figure it out. You know, but not even just him. I didn't even just go pinpoint him. There's other ones out there. You know, think that are just going back and forth at each other. But even the, uh, let's say like the the um Pusha T okay. and Drake situation. You know, like. I mean, how do you feel about it? Like, I mean, it's one thing to me, it's like about battling, you know, when you battle back and forth on the mic. But when people start taking it in a personal, you know what I'm saying? I think that's when it really gets out the box. And like, what I did at SOBs, I took a second while we was doing the show and I asked everybody in the crowd to say, stop the beef, make the music. And they was feeling it, you know what I'm saying? They was feeling it. Because my thing is, is that, okay, yeah, you know, even from back in the days we had, MCs that battle right. MCs, but I think that at this period of time in 2018, they taking it beyond the battle. They really taking it. See, all the years that I've been in this game, I saw how you know most of the industry outside of, outside of our industry try to shut us down with this rap, mm-hmm. you know, with the hip hop, and we just gained ground. And now I feel like you know they, they these these guys out here are just giving us um, more reasons to have our you know to have what we built shut down. But I just want to know your input on it. Um, I feel like I mean no one you tell me to that I have issues with multiple people, so <laughs> no, no. I'm not um, a virgin to be false. Gotcha. To be false. But um, like I think it's healthy. To be honest, I mean, gotcha. you know, you come from a different era. You probably grew up on it more than I did. Mm-hmm. So I feel like as long as things don't get super violent, I'm cool. Like six nine, I mean, this piece of violent. So yeah, so this, is, this is a little different. But Pusha T and Drake, it's a different special. Yeah, but that's what rap is supposed to be. I mean, you know. Nas and Jay, people super disrespectful. You want to get them both now. So, yeah, that's true. That's true. I feel like this is this is gonna sort of make a hip hop. I'm for it. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. See, I mean, just I mean, like, just to me, in my opinion, I just feel like, like I said, I'm rap beef. Rap rap beef is rap beef. 
I mean, that's, I, ain't got a, I ain't got a problem with that. You know, so if y'all want to take it out, you know, take it on the mic, take it back and forth with the records, yeah. that's, you know I mean, that's all fine and well. But I feel like they're taking it beyond that level. And understand, when you take it beyond that level, this shuts down a lot of stuff for future rappers and future artists to come in. Because right. these venues don't want to book. Because the insurance is high. You know what I'm saying? They're like, well, well you're doing a rap concert? Okay, well, you know, a half a million. No, I've seen it. You know, they, they, they jump from 350000 in insurance to a half a million dollars, a million dollars or more. Because they're like, well, you're not going to come in here and tear up my thing. You know? So it's like, you know, that's my, that, that's just my thing. I just like, I, I love I, I love the, the art of war when it comes to battle. But it doesn't have to get dead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's my point. It really doesn't happen because if you look at some of the stuff that they're beefing about, it really ain't nothing. It's just them exchanging words online. Some people got legitimate beef, some people really don't. Yeah, they're yeah. doing it for the numbers. It's all emotions. Yeah. They, you know? You get emotional, but they got something to lose, so, you know, they take it to another level there. That's True. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's You know, the person that's in the losing side of the beef, you know, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You get it, make it physical. Right. right. That's true. But like, yeah, so like, you know, tell the people, you know, about your music. You know, who is Zell Omar? Um, I like to consider myself <laughs> the mainstream artist of the hood. So I don't know how I'm about to make that. But um, yeah, like I, I make, I make a versatile style of music. Like I go from doing trap, I go from doing R&B, I do pop music. I've done reggae on the tour in the past. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't have no genres. I don't have genres to find me. I like being creative, you know what I'm saying? I, like, gotcha. I enjoy making music and because I produce my own stuff. Mm-hmm. It gives me even more flexibility to, you know, do what I want to do. That's what's so, up. Yeah. Who have you actually had the pleasure of, if you can say, you know, pleasure of, of working with in Platinum? Um, gee, the list is crazy. Um, Fat Joe, I know he's a friend here. Mm-hmm. Um, Famous Dex, Dave East, um, Rich the Kid. Designer. Oh, man. <laughs> like, the list goes on, man. There's a lot of people. Um, Lil' Kim, I've met, you know, um, Brandy was there the other day, so, yeah. Who's the most fun to work with? Most fun? Hmm. I would probably say designers most fun. He's a character. Okay, now, I'm gonna ask you a question real quick on that. How much of the conversation did you actually understand from the you know what's crazy? I thought that was gonna be a problem going in. You actually get used to it. You kind of like uh-huh. know what he's trying to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's like. Yeah, because it's like like some of the stuff like because I mean because I've actually had the chair like because the reason why I asked you that is because a lot of people are asking because I've met him before mm-hmm. and he's a cool dude. He's a really he's a cool dude. But it's like they see everything on the outside like you know like oh okay what the, you know what I'm saying for the untrained ear it's like. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. You know, like that, but um so as far as like as far as the um like engineering wise, where I mean like what what's your what's your goal? Um, <laughs> to be honest, everything that I do now, it all started just because I didn't have the funds to pay for it to get it done. Mm-hmm. So like I've always been an artist, being an artist is like the main goal, it's always been my main goal, and then like my company is what I want to retire off of. You know what I'm saying? I become too old to rap, quote unquote. Um, but you know, engineering and producing and all that stuff, I just didn't have money to buy a piece off of YouTube. I don't have money to go to the studio, so like, let me teach gotcha. myself how to do it, you know? Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. No, but that's good, that's good. You know, because I mean, that's the best way to do These days, you gotta, like, especially if you're not a budget, yeah. anything, anything, and that's the first question, especially when you deal with anything major. So, yeah, I have a budget. <laughs> yeah, I got budget fries. I got a budget cheeseburger, and I got a budget of good dreams. How about that? You know what I'm saying? They're like, well, I don't, we don't know about that. You know, but I know, but I definitely understand what you're saying, though. But check it out. We're gonna we're gonna jump into one of your records. I think this record is called Blessed. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna jump into that. So I'm gonna let you. You know, what I'm saying you you, you know, what I'm saying you guest first time guest. I'm gonna let you introduce your record. Right? I bet. Um, this song called Blessed. It's on my upcoming project, Most Hated, produced by me. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Zell Omar blessed. Yeah. Yo, so what was your motivation behind that record? 
um, I mean, exactly the title, you know. I just felt blessed that day. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, like, um, we can do like brief history of the project. Like, the project is called Most Hated. It's basically like on this tr- on this album, I'm addressing all the negative, all the, all the negativity that be coming my way these days. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I don't want the whole album to be negative. So I'm like, mm, put something. Right. You know what I'm saying? That highlights the good quality. Gotcha. Let's let's that. Let me let me ask you something because you you made a valid point. Mm-hmm. What do you think is driving the negativity towards you? You think that because you're working hard, harder than most of them that are sitting there watching you? Yeah, I think it's um, jealousy, you know, to be honest with you. Yeah. And, and what's up, you know what I'm saying, and, and I, I, like, like men in this industry, I've seen it a lot. And I really don't understand it because the thing is, is that people always see what you do. Like, I get, I get a lot of hate too. I get yeah. a lot of people that try to, they say, well, I can do what you do. Right. No, you can't do what I do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I do it a certain way. Right. But I want you to do what you do mm-hmm. your way and benefit from it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you know, a lot of them are like, well, why are you so positive, Hex? Why, why is it when people come at you? Because just like you said, I'm blessed. Right. You can throw whatever you're going to throw at me. I'm going to succeed. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to do what I got to do. And then me being as negative as you, it's just gonna bring hold that negative energy on my shoulders at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love to see people succeed. Yeah. That's what I that's what I got in the game for to help and to watch people succeed. Right. You know, but a lot of people they just they sit on it, and I think it's because they don't have the motivation. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wanted, but not everybody willing to work for it. Precisely. Mm-hmm. Some people just waiting for it. Exactly. That's what it is. So you know what? We got another joint. Trending topics, we about to jump into this joint. Everybody try to stay area, industry talk, I access radio. This is the second cut. I'm gonna let you introduce it. Second cut, trending topics. This one's more of a club banger. Let's get into it. It's featuring so well. Yeah, that's deep there, bro. <laughs> that's deep, that's deep. Definitely, definitely. It seemed like that you really like you really put a lot of work into this out. Just you know say this joint. Like where you a lot of whatever you had on your mind, yeah. you really just like really put it out there. And see, that's what the what the game is missing right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything is pump, You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. which is fine. Which is fine. I like it. You know that I like it. I like the records. You know what I'm saying? But from time to time. Yeah, you gotta have you got you gotta have that substance. I love to turn up rings, I love to party, I love to yeah, but sometimes you gotta have a lot of uh, some substance to it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then you get back to it. Yeah. Like that. So we're gonna jump we're gonna jump into this next joint. I like this because this has my kind of substance. <laughs> you know, now nah, but I like it, you know what I'm saying, it's freedom of expression. Right. But you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna lead y'all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you lead them into this record. Okay. So this one's called Open. Um definitely a strip club record. Definitely not something you want to play around your kids or your mom. Um, Which I, they probably already do, but. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's a fun record, and I can't wait to shoot the video. Oh, yeah! <laughs> now, that's what's up, that's what's up. Yo, Brazil, tell them, yo, tell them everybody how they can follow you on social media, you know, the way to find you, where you be at. Um, simply, you can find me at zellomar.com. Um, everything else is Zellomar underscore, literally everything. Instagram is Zellomar underscore. Facebook is LMR, Twitter is LMR, and this one. Facebook is LMR.com, you get everything. So, you know. There you go. You sound like a straight commercial, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's what's up. That's what's up, though. But, yo, definitely, man. Definitely appreciate you taking the time to come up here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out there, all the audience, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that follows me, definitely follow Zell Omar, doing big things. Yes, it's a connection between the two. We doing it. All right, Domination, MDMG. That's what it be. And you know, if I don't touch the record, it ain't sh- Yeah, we ain't gonna say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't. Like that. So, but yeah, definitely thank you for coming up, man. Appreciate definitely appreciate it. Man, I wish you had a chance. I wish you had a chance, you know, to meet my other co-host, but so good. Everybody moving and shaking and doing their thing. In due time. Yeah, no doubt. Definitely in due time. But guess what, DJs? You're gonna be mad at me again. You're going to be mad at me again because, as always, I got that exclusive. I got that exclusive. Oh, what? You ain't get that exclusive? That Rick Ross feature? Feature Josh X? Oh, maybe I got it because I'm his official DJ. Well, on that note, holla at me. I may think about dropping it to you. Check it.